Imagine this. You're an anti-gay lawyer, and you get, uh, you're in court being indicted for child pornography. That's bad enough. All of a sudden, while you're in court for the child porn, federal agents come in and subsequently arrest you for underage sex charges, child molestation, involving taking a young, young girl across the border into Canada and forcing her to have sex with you and filming it. That's a bad day. That's a pretty bad day. Yeah, this is, of course, Lisa Byron, a Manchester, New Hampshire lawyer. She's affiliated with an anti-gay group uh, that I will tell you about called the Alliance for Defending Freedom. She's accused of transporting a girl into Canada, coercing her into sex, filming it. She took the teenager across the border while on bail for child porn charges. She was arrested in court by the FBI as she was awaiting district level hearing for the child porn. Initially, she was held after police found porn material on her computer. She was arrested uh, then uh, Friday during a hearing to, to discuss whether she would be brought up on those charges. And then now it's, it's clearly gotten much, much worse. Things keep getting even worse. Like, how could it really even get worse? It's gotten even worse. Police also found 200 rounds of ammunition in Byron's home. And she allegedly threatened the person who told the police about the porn. And two witnesses say they uh, claim they saw her with marijuana, ecstasy, and cocaine. <laughs> you know, this would be bad enough, just anti-gay lawyer caught with child porn. And then it would be bad enough if it was anti-gay lawyer already caught with child porn, now charged with child molestation and underage coercive uh, uh, rape, essentially. I guarantee you we haven't heard the end of this. That would be bad enough. But then it would have been bad enough. It was also she was found with ammunition and was uh, uh, allegedly threatening the person who turned her in for the porn. That would have been bad enough. But then she's also been found with marijuana, ecstasy and cocaine. So we're digging the hole pretty deep here. Yes, I I'm sure there were probably other children who were molested by her. You would have to assume. We have no evidence, but rarely are people caught on the first time they do something like this. Right. That, that's certainly true. Or, or there's, there's many people who aren't, I guess is what we can say. Yeah. Now, I, wanna, I know everybody's very concerned about this. So I want to make a very clear statement, Lewis. Don't worry. This woman is pro-family, and she will save pr plenty of families by preventing gay adoptions through legal, legal uh, recourse. So uh, don't worry. I know that she had the child porn and that she took a girl across the border to Canada and forced her to have sex and she, she has cocaine and all sorts of stuff. She's pro-family. She's a Christian. Everything's going to be fine. I know that all the Bible thumpers are so glad that they've got a soldier like her on their side. Now, was she born a hypocritical pervert or is that a lifestyle choice? That's really the question I want to know. Well, let's not get into that. No, and actually, it's kind of a serious question because... Because chances are you are born of... A, much mental yeah, illness yeah. is hereditary. Yeah. Right. No, or not hereditary, but in other words, uh, you are born with right. a genetic, yeah.